would be such a good place to hold like a major event. This really would. I mean, it's a good size. Um, if we had to, there's the eSports lounge right yeah. next door. Yeah, you've got tons of space. So like, maybe, not, okay, you couldn't have a whole lot of people, but you could hold a good... 100. I want to say 100, yeah. 150 yeah. probably. That would probably be the max right around there. Yeah. Do that, what is it, cap? 160? I have no idea. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what the cap is normally. That's like probably. a bracket. Uh, 64, 128. 128. You, 128, add in another 64, and you can have a a, a, court, a third of them get buys, like yeah. by your major players. Yeah, I think that would be a good way to do it. Yeah. So. That'd be interesting, just somehow get zero out here. Yeah, right? So, I know Esam has said he'd wanted, he's wanted to come out before, so. You know, only, he, he wants his revenge. Yeah. He's got two people on his hit list. He's got <laughs> me, Self, and Nick C. Yep. He wants Nick C dead. <laughs> he wants them all down. Yo. He got he got his revenge on me self though. He did, that's right. At uh, Oklahoma. But he hasn't gotten to fight Nick C again yet. No, he has not, so All hail my <laughs> our Lord and Savior, Nick C. Yes. My crew. Your crew is my man making it happen. Huh? We were just like bruh. What? What the heck? So. Speaking of bruh, we are looking <laughs> at uh, Bowser Jr. Dittos for our first round between Data and Infernal Sin here. Yes. Um, so this is a character I know a little bit about, but as far as a ditto goes, I couldn't tell you. The ditto is weird. Dittos are always weird, though. But right yeah. Now, right now we can see, though, Infernal Sin has taken firm stage control. I think, uh, well, if I recall, Data is kind of like a, a, jo a Joker card, if you will. Like, he yeah. doesn't really have a main. He just kind of plays whatever he feels like. He's like the jack of all trades. That's like, what it is, yeah. He's yeah. looking at a character selection and he's like, oh, you're playing Bowser Jr.? That sounds fun. Why not? Me too. Right. I, you know, he's here to have fun. Like, that's commendable, right? Yeah. Definitely, um, I believe Infernal Sin's Bowser Jr. He's one of the first that I faced. Yeah. And, wow, that changed the voice right, right there. And now we're on mic. <laughs> Woo! We're actually on now. Yeah. And so, Infernal Sin's one of the first Bowser Juniors that I've ever played. And he was one of my first opponents, really. So it's kind of cool to see him back. He's recently been coming back into the scene, so it's great to see him back. Ooh. Ooh. All right, that was a good recovery by Infernalson. And he actually gets the kill on Data. <laughs> Data pops off for the loss. <laughs> yeah. One thing I remember about this guy is uh, he, does not, he doesn't care about holding that L. He will take that with pride. Yeah, he will hold that L and celebrate that yeah. L. He'll, have a, he'll throw a whole parade over it. <laughs> yes. He, you know, Pride Week has nothing on Data and his no. Ls. <laughs> His L's are their own pride. <laughs> They're cool. All right, we got some Z drop action. Right. Gets both of them at And now it's Data's turn to get the stage control. Tries in with that down smash. Doesn't really get anything off it, though. All right, Infernal Sin back to stage control. He's got the Mecha Koopa out. Let's Data get back onto stage. I like to see Data throw out a little bit more uh, Koopa, like the Mecha Koopas, the yeah. down Bs. Have them and start spacing with them. Right, and if you take a look at it, uh, Infernal Sin is the one who's been throwing out those Mega Koopas. Like, he's the one who's been trying to zone Data out. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> leaving, the sh leaving the Koopa car. Good to old, do the work. That Koopa car is actually pretty good for get-ups. Uh, it covers everything except roll and just drop off. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. That the, should do it. The, good up smash. The raw up smash. <laughs> All right, Data pump. He's having a good time. Oh yeah, Data's definitely one of those players that's always fun to have. Right. Keeps everybody like energetic, happy, loose, loose. Makes the tense situation seem a little less tense. A little less, and then you even when he's going to town on you, you're like, hey, hey, cool, hey, hey, <laughs> that's, hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's a good card. <laughs> that's a good card there. Hey, uh, what, what's this say? Elder Entity Norton. That, that, that's a good card. <laughs> what's this? What's this effect say? Special summon from grave. Damn, that's that's that's, that's pretty cool. good. Yeah, that's maybe a, maybe a little broken. Yeah, just <laughs> a little. That one, that one's returned? <laughs> yeah. Shout out to all my oh, fellow Yu-Gi-Oh players, okay? I love Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh is great, man. Do you play? Um, not anymore. I uh, used to. And then I sold all my cards. Smart man. Actually, half of them got burned in a fire. Oh. Then I gave up. Oh, jeez. So, oh, no. That's a way to end it. So. Ooh. Oh, there's a fox. Yep. Right. I see the switch here, which I think is good for Data. Uh, <laughs> much, uh, much better character as far as tier lists are concerned. Much better tier lists. And I think, you know, in the ditto, uh, Infernal Sin definitely knows the ditto really? better than Data. Uh, so he plays with uh, Sin being from the Springs region, right? I believe so. So he gets to play with a uh, Nomad every now and then, right? Yep. Okay. So. Nomad, pretty good player. Oh yeah, definitely one of those players that's got to pay attention to. All right. Doesn't seem to be phasing Infernal Sin though, like as we were talking about. Like you could see just before that he did a falling down air. I think he almost got an auto cancel, but he was able to follow up with I believe a dash attack. Yeah. Which was really good on his part. Like. Now he's just trying to space out some of these bears using that uh, discount Sonic Spin Dash that he got for Black Friday. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> I mean, that's basically what it is. The only difference is it can go slightly slower. Yes. But it seems like it's a little bit... Um, Ooh. Ooh. Nice. It's nicer for recovery than I think Sonic Spin Dash, because it at least goes more horizontal than Sonic. I love having to listen yeah. to like the shouting. It's like, wait. We'll, we'll know what they call us, because they'll come and like, yo, dude, you got a match. Get out. Move. So, I, oh my god, these strings. Oh, this right. is good by Data, though. Definitely playing much better. Right? Uh, right? No, he's, he had uh, Infernal Sin backed, out, backed into a corner. No, that won't kill. Fox, is, Fox may be fourth lightest, but uh, he can still get back if he needs to. Oh, oh my god! The, the snipe! <laughs> Swedish snipers? Oh, man. Yo, what's that, uh, that Smash 4? GR Smash clone. Uh, oh. Dragon Smash, is it? Uh, you know what I'm talking about, right? I, I think they, I do. It just, oh. They just made their... Uh, oh. He just made a Snipes video. Yeah. Resubmit. Resubmit. Yeah, like... Get that in get, there. Get a new one there. Okay. Top Definitely 10 Snipes good. number two. Now, right. you got to capitalize off of it and win the match with the Snipe. Right. Now you use your momentum. Okay, he blocks the up smash. That's a start. Data's definitely just going to look for that up smash, I think, or the up air. Right. And that's how I think he's going to take the stock, is through one of those two yeah, options. Absolutely. I, I think Data would probably get some kind of hard, hard read. He's one of those players, I would say, like, really thrives off of just going for, like, the option that you don't expect. Yep. Okay, but he catches his, get, his ledge get up, or his jump from the ledge, I should say, with that up air. So good job for Data. Reading very well what uh, Infernal Sin's habits were. Mm -hmm. And so now we have our first game three. Oh, right. I will say, though, in my experience against Data, I have fought his Fox. It is a very good Fox. Like, is it? I'd be willing to say his Fox is probably one of his best characters. Really? Well, here's the okay. deal. Because here's my logic on this. Hear me out on this. Kay. Data plays pretty much the entire cast, right? Pretty much, so yeah. So in order to do something like that, you've got to have pretty good fundamentals, wouldn't you say? Yeah. So if you have good fundamentals, you're pretty good at Fox. You can be pretty good with Fox. Yeah. Right? Like Fox and Mario are like those two characters that uh, are re really reward your, fun your fundamentals. Like they don't really use gimmicks. Hmm. So... I, I think that that's my logic coming here is that it, just because he has such a good a good lineup with all the characters, it means his fundamentals are pretty solid. Hence, his fox is really solid. Uh, that, I can definitely see that. To be to be a good fox requires being that technical player, like you were saying. Yeah. And he's definitely good enough to play with pretty much the cast. Mm -hmm. And that requires a lot of skill that you wouldn't necessarily think of. It, it requires a lot of variety and like just good adaptation. Yeah. But, but now we see Infernal Sin has opted to switch to DDD. Interesting choice. Um, I think he's going for those hard read punishes as well. Right. And I imagine DD can kill Fox really early. Just with, like, his forward smash is the scariest thing, even though it's slow. Oh, my God. His it's down smash covers the rolls. All right. Also, so. I might be concerned a little bit with the, about DD's mobility, especially in the air. Like, Fox could probably get some good juggles. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. That, okay. That Gordo <laughs> actually saved him. Like, yeah. He, it was a smart choice to challenge the Gordo there. It, his life was gonna end. You know, I think that's how. That's what Infernal Sin is thinking. Like he wants. Uh, he wants to get one of those uh, ledge setups with the Gordo. Yeah. To kill Fox really, because I can imagine like Fox is easily in kill percent from one of those. Oh yeah, he's definitely right now close to dying, and if he gets that ledge trap, I don't know if he if he doesn't take it, he's dead for sure. No. There's no hope. All right, use the Gordo try to cover his landing, but. Uh, just gonna get swatted away. That's the thing oh. about the, this matchup and like anyone who fights DD is that you have to understand that the Gordo is actually very exploitable and can be used against DD extremely easily. But there's also the fact that if you challenge every Gordo, you might get punished because you, if you mess up one Gordo, it'll hit you. Right. And that might kill you. So well, I believe the Gordo can take four percent until it gets knocked back. I think so. I think it's three or four. So back throw? Okay. Yep. There it is. Back throw. <laughs> um, uh, I don't think he was anticipating the, the back throw. I think he was expecting like a down throw to try to get like an up air, and then he just didn't DI properly. Yeah, the DI looked a little off there. I mean, I I don't think DDD's oh. throws are. Oh. oh, that's one thing with DDD's uh, canceling his jump or his uppy is that when he does hit the ground, if he doesn't grab the ledge, he has that lag afterwards, yeah. and that's what uh, Data exploited there. Oh. I'd see what Infernal Zen was going for, though, when he was... Go he wanted to get to that ledge, but just DDD's bad air mobility just kind of meant that he landed on his... <gasps> oh, my God! Oh. That Gordo <laughs> saved his butt again. He's, he's getting very lucky. DDD's wanting to keep him alive. He's toying with his food. <laughs> the penguin stalks its natural prey. <laughs> the Arctic fox. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we need a white fox now for this. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get Snoop Dogg commentary on this, okay? <laughs> Hit him up. Great. Follow up to National Geographic, okay? Yes. Oh, my oh. God. Nice back air. Here comes a Gordo, probably. Uh, yeah, there uh, it is. Oh, interesting. So the fire does, his up, he does cancel that uh, Gordo, which is very good to know. 
there's another backer. I think Dano's ready for it that time. <laughs> Alright, he's going for these dash attacks for the two frames. Oh man, oh. What, what a call though. He rolled, he had, it was He had over. the right idea. Yeah. And he's not really in danger of dying at this percent unless he gets gimped by like a, a Larry Lur setup. Yeah, I mean that's always a concern. But even DDD has a... Uh, oh. oh my god. I, oh my god. You gotta be careful. Oh, uh, not, not yet. He di he died to the side, so he was ready for it. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, that'll do it. it. <laughs> There's right. Data. There's the super aggro handshake. Yeah. <laughs> There's the oh. pop-up in the back. <laughs> There's the power-up.